Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. So Tim Godby, it's oh. day one, yes. NAB 2024. How's right. it going? It's been a busy show already. Um, I don't, that's what we want, right? But we're excited to be here. It's always great to be at NAB. It really is. Now talk to me about the new products that you're showcasing here at NAB this year. You asked me that first, which is really great. Um, we introduced the fact that we have adopted NDI into our entire product line. So that means a bunch of PTZ cameras, a PTZ keyboard controller, and a decoder. It's a lot of products, I think 12 SKUs we brought with us, um, NDI 6, which we're very excited about, and NDI HX3, so we have high bandwidth, and we have HX3, and can I please say they're all certified. So we, we're, we're really happy <laughs> with, with that, uh, to be able to come out of the gate with that many products um, that are all certified. It's very, very exciting, and that's where we are. That This is the, the, uh, the NDI enabled versions of, uh, of our cameras, decoder, and keyboard control. Wow, Tim, that is very impressive and very exciting. Now, who is this for and what are the prospective use cases? Sure. Um, NDI, as you know, is uh, all over the place. And we wanted to give our customers that option. NDI, uh, there's so many products that are in that ecosystem. I believe, particularly with NDI 6, that was a big draw for us. Because for broadcasters especially, the deeper color space, um, HDR, and uh, embedded bridge. We could do a whole interview on why that is such a great thing. Uh, but so for our broadcast customers, NDI 6, uh, is intriguing, we think. It was certainly intriguing to us. So that's one set of customers, but NDI is everywhere. It's, it's useful everywhere. Everywhere there's a live production, whether it's a concert, house of worship, and that's why we decided we would put it at the high end of our camera line, but also the, the more budget-friendly cameras that we have. We wanted to give the customers the NDI option if they wanted it. And Tim, where is Bolin positioned in the industry as a whole? Another really great question. Um, we think, we, we always lead with technology. That, that's what we do. So our position is understanding a, a broad spectrum of customers, whether it's broadcast at the tier one level or uh, pro AV, not that that's a lesser level, it's just a different kind of a customer base, uh, to, to video conference spaces, huddle rooms, people who just need a couple of cameras, but they want them to be really good, to be really smooth and quiet, so we're all over. We, we have products for everybody, so it's a wide shot, but we love it. We think that our role is to give the best capability, the best most advanced technology that people can actually really, really use. So that's what we do. And what are you seeing in the way of trends right now unfolding in the industry? Sure. Well, I, you know, I guess 4K 60s everywhere. That that that's one trend that people are adopting. I see a lot faster movement toward AV over IP especially in broadcast, where it's a traditional workflow with SDI, uh, and we love SDI, all of our cameras do that, but I think uh, it's inevitable, you know, the, the AV over IP infrastructure is just, I, th I think, a requirement, and so we, we want to offer those customers, truly, for instance, the outdoor cameras, there's a trend toward, what do I call it, like, um, not not real time, like reality. Reality kinds of situations where you, you, you've got to put a camera in places where traditional cameras won't fit. And you need to be able to set up quickly and get really great stuff. It's going to, to a sophisticated audience. So I think there's even more of a trend toward agility and um, easy setup and pan tilt zoom where you can have one person operate four cameras instead of four camera operators operating four cameras. I think that's it's a nice trend for us, but I think it actually is a trend across the industry. And Tim, based on the exciting news you've shared today, what do you think the future holds for Bolin? Oh, wow. Um, I think more of the same. And what I mean is, uh, we, we, we lead with technology. It's what we do. We've engineered 
enormous capabilities in all of our all of our cameras especially and decoders which means we can adopt all sorts of things we can go all sorts of directions so for us we want to be out ahead as far as we we can reasonably go we also want to be the company because we are a manufacturer so we we can be agile we can listen to customers which we do all the time make changes, improvements that really meet real needs. And that's very exciting for us. So there's going to be a lot more of that uh, in the future. Thank you so much, Tim. Have an amazing show. Thank you. Always good to see you.